Marina Alexis. She should be a writer. Alison DeLorenis is one of the most iconic characters from Pretty Little Liars, and one who, depending on who you ask, went through some of either the best or worst development of anyone on the show. But along with her personality and characterization, Alison's style went through a major evolution from start to finish. I'm going to be analyzing Allie's fashion from the first flashback to her role in the PLL spinoff, The Perfectionists. Allison, like The Liars, had a very distinct sense of style in the flashbacks that we see throughout the first four seasons of PLL. Her outfits consist of mostly pinks and blues and vibrant, bold shades. Just as Allison's personality caused her to stand out amongst her peers. Allison was always in the middle, the center of attention. Her fashion makes an immediate statement that draws the eye. That said, one quality of Allison's style sets her apart from many other popular girls and queen bees in other teen shows and movies. Though trendy and fashion-forward for the time, Allison's clothing is almost never overly revealing. She wears a lot of tank tops and sleeveless tops, but they're not low-cut, and her dresses and skirts are rarely noticeably short. Allison doesn't need to flaunt her body or show a lot of skin to get attention. The charm and charisma that she exudes does that for her. You're Allie's friends, right? Allison commonly wears brands such as Guess, Royal Rabbit, and Urban Outfitters in many of the flashback scenes. While fashionable and trendy, none of these brands are overly expensive or considered luxury. Allie's family is well-off, and she's not afraid to show it but they don't have money to burn the way that a family like the Hastings does. One interesting thing about Allison's style during this time period is how her clothes tend to reflect specific aspects of her character. She wears softer colors during her softer moments, sporting pastels, light pinks, and florals during many of her flashbacks with Emily. How long are we going away for? How about forever? Scenes in which she manipulates, schemes, or cuts someone down show her in more vibrant, bolder shades of blue and pink, often with eye-catching prints or designs. I only kill when we need food. Or when I'm bored. And moments where Allison turns on her friends, such as taunting Spencer about her kiss with Ian. That would make you a skink. Or pressuring Arya to destroy her dad's office, showcase darker colors like black and navy, which represent Allison's darker side. Overall, Allison's style, like her characterization, is put together and mature, a pattern that is only broken during moments of vulnerability. In times like these, such as her pregnancy scare with Cece and her escape from Jason's harassing friends, her oversized hoodies and simple pajamas give her a much younger, more innocent appearance. Everyone who's watched PLL recognizes Allison's iconic yellow top, but an interesting moment of foreshadowing occurs in the flashback Halloween episode. The ruffled purple tank top that Allison wears when she insults and torments Lucas mirrors the shirt she has on the night that she disappears. This is particularly powerful considering what Lucas mutters to Mona, lurking nearby right after Allie departs. One day she'll get what's coming to her. Both Lucas's words and Allison's style showcase the connection between these two scenes. The first half of season five, which focuses on Allison's return to Rosewood, is perhaps the most interesting concerning her evolving style. The first few episodes show a much softer and understated look, made up primarily of plain t-shirts, jean jackets, and soft sweaters. Her toned down clothing provides a callback to her moments of vulnerability in the flashbacks, and her transition to outfits made up almost purely of dark colors such as blacks, navy blues, and dark greens in the episode after her mother's death portray her grieving and despair. The first major transition in Allison's style appears during her return to school. This is the first time that we see Allison wearing one of the blazers that become ubiquitous this season. Watching her slow motion walk down the hallway showcases her return to a bright, bold, and noticeable color palette and contrasts directly with the blacks, navy blues, and grays of the liar's outfits. This draws a direct comparison to the years of the flashbacks, in which Allison automatically drew the eye through her use of vibrant patterns and eye-catching colors. This episode is also the first in which the liar's trust in Allison begins to break down, a theme that continues over the course of the rest of the season. You went out of your way to lie to us. Again. Allison's use of brightly colored blazers over professional, almost business-like blouses and slacks becomes her primary style as each episode pushes the liars further from her. Allison's fashion over the course of these episodes represents the power over her friends that's slipping away from her, and that she's desperate to hold on to. Our group is falling apart. The last time that we see Allison dressed in this style is when she finally breaks down and identifies Cyrus as her fake kidnapper. In the very next scene, in which the liars have completely turned against her, her wardrobe has completely changed. Over the last few episodes of the season, we see Allison revert back to a style that is extremely similar to her old look from the flashbacks, with a somewhat more mature design. She makes a return to patterned tank tops, floral prints, and shades of pink. This regression back to a fashion sense very closely aligned with her old self indicates Allison's ousting from the group of liars, 
and her return to a more antagonistic role, as she'd played in the majority of the flashbacks. Before I continue, I want to add a disclaimer that one of the likely influences on the massive changes in Allison's style beyond this point is the weight gain that Sasha Paterza experienced as a result of her battle with the hormonal condition Picos and the costume department's difficulties finding appropriate dress for anyone who doesn't fit a size zero. While I feel it's important to acknowledge this very real and serious role in this conversation, I'm going to continue this analysis purely from the perspective of the show and Allison's characterization. Allison's next major style transformation, and possibly her biggest in the show, occurs after her release from jail at the start of season 6. Immediately, she takes on a much softer style, filled with muted colors such as beige, white, and gray. Pink and blue remain staples in her color scheme, but they're also toned down to more pastel shades, and while a few of her old clothing pieces remain in her wardrobe, they're styled in ways that represent a major shift in character. Overall, despite similar colors and prints, the matronly, shapeless, and toned-down style paired with her shorter and more styled haircut, is extremely unlike her old self. The blandness of her outfits corresponds perfectly with the abrupt and intense changes in her personality, and how something about it just doesn't quite fit. It seems as though Allison is dressing as matronly and maturely as possible, in order to remove herself as much as possible from her younger teenage self and the person she used to be. It always comes down to me, and everyone would be fine without me. However, even throughout the season, glimmers of Allie's nasty, selfish side peek through, which are accompanied by looks that are subtly reminiscent of her old style. A moment in which Allison snaps at Toby shows her wearing a jean jacket similar to those she sported at the start of season five. They went through a lot. We all did. And a scene that centers on Allison defending her friend's kidnapper instead of siding with them shows her in a trendier and more low-cut dress than anything she'd worn all season. Charles gave me his frosting. How does that turn into vicious? These brief hints of Allison's old self are accompanied by small but noticeable returns to her old sense of fashion. Once we jump forward five years, we find Allison, now a 23-year-old teacher, wearing a similar but more extreme version of her fashion from the season before. While she still wears regular floral patterns and cardigans concealing her shoulders and arms, her dresses and skirts have grown in length, and her clothes have become baggier. While the majority of her outfits are evocative of stereotypical teacher fashion, Allison continues to sport this style even outside of the classroom. As we move into the last season, her clothing becomes marginally trendier, with the occasional shorter dress and lower cut top, but darker styles take over as Allison's life becomes consumed with her unwanted pregnancy, and especially the revelation that it is a result of the fertilization of Emily's eggs. It's not mine, Emily. It's yours. We also see a return to the use of oversized, almost childish sweaters that illustrate Allison's moments of vulnerability, which remains consistent with earlier seasons. It's not until the last few episodes of PLL that Allison begins once again displaying bright colors and vibrant patterns, indicating that she is finally becoming more confident and comfortable with who she really is. Just as Allison's flashback style represents her various moods and the sides to her complex personality, her outfits in the later seasons indicate the direction of her character and the circumstances happening around her. However, the unflattering clothing and style largely remains until the show's end, a possible attestation that she has not fully become her true self. We see our last version of Allison's evolving character in the first and only season of the PLL spin-off, The Perfectionists. There is an immediate change in Allison's style from the very start of the show. Gone are the ever-present florals, baggy sweaters, and tent dresses, giving way to a much more polished, professional, yet fun look. Her clothing is more form-fitting, and she mixes up her style over the course of the season, going from t-shirts to skirts to blazers to dresses. Instead of sticking to one specific type of fashion, we finally see Allison taking risks and trying out new looks. Her new brighter, bolder style regains a youthfulness that her fashion had once lost, indicating that she has finally stopped running from her past and has accepted her old self as an integral part of her. Bring it on, bitch. By these last ten appearances of Allison's character, we finally see her sense of style reach a balance between professional and mature, and energized and bright, just as we see Allison herself reach the point of finding confidence in who she is and the growth she still has to make. 